this is the final session of the evening. Um, we're going to have a brief presentation from Professor Saheed um, Ajayi, who is from Leeds Beckett, and actually will be hosting, will be the, um, the chair of the conference next year. Um, I wasn't, I was trying to work out whether next year is our 10th anniversary, but um, Chris, do you know that? Is it our 10th? Yeah, I think it's I think it's at least that time it may be our eleventh, but it's, yeah. it's, it's our tenth our official tenth. So it's our official tenth anniversary next year. So it's a it it'll be a big important conference event. So um anyway, um Saheed is now going to give us a brief um uh, insight into what we're 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 going to be doing next year at Leeds. We're in Leeds next year for the SEEDS conference. Saheed, over to you. I'm assuming you're going to work with Beth so you can get your um, presentation moved around. Yep. Thank you very much, uh, Dari, and uh, thank you to everyone who is uh, attending this. Uh, it's been a nice day with the conference today and uh, by tomorrow we're also going to be carry on. I hope everyone will have a nice time at the conference. Uh, just quickly within uh, the next few minutes, I want to talk us through what we are planning for the seat conference uh, next year. So just like uh, Dari introduced me, I am uh, Saeed Ajayi. I'm a professor of digital construction and project management at Leeds Beckett University. Even without saying that it's going to be ahead in Leeds or see me presenting it, my already suggest that we are going to be having the fun in Leeds uh, next uh, next year. Uh, next one, that. Okay, so this is just a brief uh, outline of what I want to talk. I want to talk briefly about our university, uh, Leeds Beckett University, just an overview, the city of Leeds, just for you to see what you are going to enjoy by by coming over to Leeds uh, next year. Uh, also, the the conference for the next year, what we are planning, what we are already cooking uh, for the conference, and then I'm going to uh, talk about some of the themes that we are going to be covering in the uh, in the conference. So our next one, please. Right. Uh, for some people, they might um, they might be wondering which one is Leeds Beckett University, especially for people that have not um, that have not kept up with the news for for some years. Uh, Leeds Beckett University is the same thing as Leeds Metropolitan University, uh, which uh, changed name. Uh, the change of name was approved in uh, 2013, if if I'm correct. So we are one of the uh, the leading modern university uh, based in Leeds. I uh, just had a stone throw from uh, University of Leeds uh, in Leeds. Uh, next one, please. So at Leeds Becker, we have uh, two main campuses. Uh, one is the city campus, which is where you are going to find the School of the Environment, Engineering and uh, Computing, where we are. And we also have the other campus uh, at the Headingley campus. The city campus, just as the name implies, is at the city center. So not far from the train station, just about 10 minutes walk from the train station. It's, it's very close to almost everywhere. And we also have a beautiful one at uh, Headingley campus, a uh, very, very large uh, campus site, uh, about 94 acres of beautiful and leafy parklands are there at uh, Leeds. So that is, uh, we have those two campuses. Uh, also, the number of us is about 24,000, which is a, a bit large, and we have almost 200,000 alumni uh, all over the all over the world. So we also contribute significantly to the economy here in Leeds. Uh, um, looking at this uh, figure here, came from uh, London Economics Impacts. So you see that we deliver about 1.43 billion to the UK uh, economy. Uh, from uh, Leeds Beckett uh, University in terms of job, in terms of the uh, other benefit, in terms of uh, what is our uh, premium for our graduates uh, and the like. So we make significant impact to not only to the Leeds economy, not only to the Yorkshire, but uh, to the to the nation uh, in general. So that's for uh, for Leeds Beckett. Uh, let's get on to talk about the city of Leeds. 
So City of Leeds, as uh, many people that might have been here, so we know that uh, this is a very vibrant city, one of the biggest cities uh, in the UK. You have a lot of things to, to enjoy by coming to Leeds, a lot of sightseeing, a lot of uh, different things that you are going to see if you if you come around to, to Leeds. So we have places you can walk to, places you can visit, shopping, you want to go for shopping. We also have a lot of notable and prominent architecture, iconic buildings in Leeds that you can visit uh, by coming over to, to Leeds. So we have the shopping mall, we have the figure, uh, Victoria Gate, uh, we have different places that you can um, you can move around to see uh, if you visit Leeds uh, next year. And apart from Leeds itself, we also have different places uh, around Leeds so that you can you can walk to you can take a uh, public buses train to visit around uh, Leeds. Uh, Leeds is like the uh, the hub when we talk about the Yorkshire. So you have a lot of things to to see uh, when you come to Leeds. I don't want to spend much time on this uh, really. So just go uh, into the into the conference. But definitely uh, coming to Leeds is going to be one of the most exciting experience that you are going to have uh, if you come uh, next year. So this is a conference that is based on sustainability. We are not just talking the talk, but we are walking the walk uh, at uh, Liz Beckett University in terms of uh, sustainability. Looking at the figure on the screen, we contribute, uh, we, 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 we reduce uh, our carbon uh, emission uh, by 65% when you compare it to 2005. So we are making significant progress when it comes to sustainability and all, all our demolition waste, almost all of our demolition waste are reused on site. Uh, 10,000 tons have been reused so far. We also have over 99% of waste from lease buckets are also diverted from landfill. So this is significant uh, in terms of the contribution to the environment. So we, we are striving to ensure that we are uh, working the talk. Uh, as well at Leeds Beckett uh, University. We also try to encourage working at the university, so the from the sustainability point of view. So for the 2024 conference, coming to Leeds, you are going to, to have a lot of fun. Uh, you are going to have a lot of things to see in Leeds, the activities, the Leeds itself, the cities that are close by. So you are you are more than very welcome uh, next year. So for this next year conference, uh, we are sustainable digitalization and ecological engineering in the 21st century. So why do we want to uh, look at this theme for next year uh, conference? Uh, as we all know, this year marks a new journey uh, for, for mankind in terms of uh, digital technology. Uh, next one, Bert, please. Yeah. So with the advent of uh, generative AI, like ChatGPT and all of the innovation that uh, we, we witnessed this year, so there are a lot of other ones in the digital world. ChatGPT became popular. This is because it disrupted everything uh, from academia, even people in academia, we are with a point that we don't know how to deal with it, especially when it comes to plagiarism and several other things uh, that the student use. So there are still no rule. So when you look at other industry, you want to look at it from the health, you want to look at it from the engineering. There's a lot of changes that this has made to our day-to-day -day activities. Some new jobs are created. Uh, in fact, there is prompt engineering role that are created as a new job now. There are some jobs that are already going as well as a result of this. Uh, digital innovation, especially when it comes to generative AI. So people are making rapid change. AI has given a lot of insights when it comes to automation, when it comes to creative assistance and uh, several other things that people have, uh, have done with the advent of uh, generative AI. And this is not the only digital technology that is changing uh, the landscape of innovation across the world. So there are other ones, but generally when we look at charge GPT as one of them, we are going to understand that is is, is made ecological engineering, which is what uh, this conference relate to. So generative AI can also play a significant role 
when it comes to the design and optimization of sustainable solution. So it can enable engineers and researchers to simulate different things, model things that are intricate uh, generally, and we can achieve unprecedented accuracy uh, when it comes to the use of all these technologies. So with ChatGPT and its other counterparts, they can contribute to the discourse by facilitating the exchange of ideas and knowledge within the ecological engineering community so to accelerate our progress and that is why we are looking in this direction for our next year uh, conference and uh, next one please Beth. However, despite all this uh, cutting technology, despite the advent of all these uh, innovative approaches, so we still need to ensure that we maintain balance between or among different things. So we want to embrace the cutting edge innovation, which is really great. But at the same time, we also want to preserve the time tested ecological wisdom. Uh, you are not going to say that recycling is not going to be good anymore because there is now digital technology. We don't need to worry about resilience in our community because we are now uh, technologically advanced. So why ensuring that we want to take the opportunity, want to take the advantage of all these digital innovation, we still want to ensure that we maintain the balance, we use it ethically. So while we acknowledge the importance of this digital technology, we also need to cherish the principles that have been proven uh, time and time. So this this conference we want to use it to serve as a bridge between the essential elements uh, in 2024. We want to look at what works, how the digital technology can help us, and what are the things that are not even digital technology that we also need to maintain and ensure that we incorporate them with whatever innovation that we are trying to bring to to. Next, uh, best. one, please. Right. So, as uh, many of us are, we know we have our Lead Sustainability Institute, which is a research institute that are contributed significantly uh, to different policies and legislation in the UK. So, our research at Lead Sustainability Institute, uh, we have uh, over 30 years of experience uh, in in terms of evaluation of sustainability of the built environment and um, our experts have contributed to different things uh, from policy to legislation from innovation to advice advisory role at a different level so this is an institute where the uh, the seat conference uh, is holding uh, but at the same time we also have our research activities at construction informatics and digital enterprise uh, lab uh, where we look at the digital technology, application of different digital technology to solve our uh, different problems within the construction and the wider built environment. So we are combining these strengths of our research, looking at the digital element and looking at the sustainability. I want to look at how can we then take the opportunity of, of digital technology to support our sustainability uh, activities. And this is what is bringing up uh, the theme of our our next year our conference. Our next one, please, Beth. Right, so we've put this together uh, tentatively. Uh, the the, the uh, six conference themes that we are going to we are going to look at, and there are further information that will be coming up uh, later in the year. So the first one is about the digital transformation for sustainability. We want to look at how digitalization, industry 4.0, generative AI, like ChatGPT and co, will help us uh, when it comes to ecological engineering. How are they going to help us? What are the roles that this technology are going to play? What are the case studies of things that people are already doing that are already advancing sustainability uh, in general? We also want to look at urban sustainability and smart city. So when we say smart, we already know that we are thinking about the element of digitalization that is making it uh, smart. So I think smartness nowadays, you need to be talking about digital technology uh, for you to be to be smart. So if, if we say if we talk about smart smart bridge, we talk even smart human being now we involve the use of uh, some digital technology, I suppose. So we want to look at how we are going to promote sustainable urban planning and, digital, and how digital solutions can help us 
with regards to the future cities. Uh, it also want to look at the resilient community in a changing world. How do we um, how do we build in societal resilience and adapting to environmental challenge in the face of all this digital technology? So what are the approaches uh, which might be my involved the use of digital technology or might not involve the use of digital technology? But we are definitely in the digital world now, so we are in the digital realm and this is something that is likely to to be leading the discourse uh, in the next uh, few months or years to, to come. So why also using the digital technology? We also want to look at the ethics, responsibility and sustainability. What are the moral and ethical dimension of sustainable ecological engineering? Whether this is involving the use of digital technology or is not involving it. So what are the ethics uh, when it comes uh, to, to that? How should we present this sustainable ecological engineering? What are the things that we need to think about to ensure that we innovate uh, but at the same time we innovate in an ethical manner? Uh, we, we, uh, many of us we hear it over the news in the last uh, few months, maybe few weeks, that one of the people that participated in the creation of a generative AI program, the ChatGPT and similar one, was already thinking about the the moral element of the generative AI and how this is likely to affect human beings uh, in some years to come. So we want to look at the ethical element of any innovation that we are advancing uh, towards our sustainability of our environment. Also, we are going to look at the nature inspired engineering and biomimicry. So what are the wisdom that we can learn from, from nature to enhance our sustainability of, the, uh, of our environment? <laughs> So the final one, which is the sixth one here, is uh, balancing the tradition and innovation. We already have time-tested practices when it comes to sustainability, when it comes to ecological engineering, but now we are bringing cutting-edge cutting technology. How do we integrate them? How do we ensure that they, they work together? It's not going to be because we are now advancing digitally, so we are going to abandon what we know that works. How do we bring all of them together to ensure that there's going to be a synergy between all these uh, different uh, elements? So these are the six uh, key areas which I believe encompasses almost everything that we've been doing. But at the same time, we are bringing the element of uh, digital technology into that to further uh, support us. Our uh, next uh, few slides, please, uh, Beth. So these particular slides, I uh, will not uh, bother to, to read them. Um, it, they are all used, the, the next three slides are used to further explain what are the intention uh, behind each of the six uh, teams. And you can submit paper to any one of these or anything that is uh, that is similar. So definitely it encompasses uh, a lot of things uh, under the different uh, themes into which you can submit your abstract. For the uh, for the next year, so we'll be looking forward uh, to having you at least uh, next year. So where we can all look at how the different innovation and the tradition can coexist harmoniously, so towards driving sustainability and societal well-being without uh, without us saying that okay, this is what we know. We are not going to change, and not us saying that okay, there is now digital technology. We can now forget about all other things that have been working. How do we ensure that both of them can coexist harmoniously uh, towards ensuring this uh, sustainability? So we are going to be exploring this. We are going to be sending out the uh, the call for uh, abstract uh, very soon. And we are going to, we are looking forward to having you again uh, next year at, uh, in Leeds. Uh, whether that is going to be online uh, for, for us that we are doing online now, or that is going to be face to face, we are still open to combine both of them next year, but we would like to have as many people as possible coming over to list to look at what we have in list to enjoy the uh, the what, what we are enjoying uh, in list uh, generally. So the last one. Uh, I think that, uh, uh, that, that is 
still for me. I don't know. So he's we're, lo we're losing you a little bit. Uh, um, any question? If you are presenting this again at the face-to-face -face session on um, Thursday. But if you have any question, now feel free to. Okay. If, I, I was just asking if anyone has any question that you want to ask me. You're breaking out quite badly, as you now, Saeed. Yeah. Um. Over to you, Dari. Okay. If you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you fine. Can you? I can. I assume everybody can hear us. I was just yeah. asking if I was. Yeah, I can hear you. I was just asking if anyone has any question that they want to ask. Does anybody have any questions for Saheed at this time? It's very quiet, Saheed, so I think no, but I mean, obviously you're around for the next two days as well. So um, if anybody wants to e email Saheed, his contact details are actually with the PACs anyway, as he's a co-chair of the um, uh, of this year's conference. So um, you can always get a hold of um, Saheed if you need any questions answered about Leeds next year. Um, okay, so we're on to what I think most people are waiting for the um, quite important part of the day, and that's the, um, the presentation awards for um, the online presentations. Now, uh, just two things I'd like to mention here. The awards, um, the conference awards have actually been determined on the abstracts and the papers themselves and but we have been looking at some of the presentations as we've gone through the day so um there are the one of the other things that you will not find here there are some which are the chair awards which will not happen today because the chair awards go across the whole of the conference which includes today but includes the final two days as well so um you you may, if you're not if you're not successful today, you could be successful um, through our chair award. So um, keep an eye out, and we will let you know um, with a, um, an email communication and an award that will come out to you. So um, I think we're gonna, it looks like that Chris and I are going to do this as a double act. I, I think we're I think we're more like Ant and Deck. But most people probably think we're like the two Ronnies. Some of you won't know who they are <laughs> because you're not old enough. But um, I think if uh, if <laughs> if we go through the program, I'm looking at my paper now. Bear me a Is second. That, I pick up the commanders and then you pick up the the, the, uh, the winners. winners. Yeah. No, no, that's a great idea. That makes life a lot easier. So. Um, I think it's actually over to you then um, for the first one, Chris. OK, thank, thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Daryl. Um, and for our first prize, uh, well, for our first highly commended paper, Building and Environmental Design, it's paper number 340 on the implications of AI for integrated decision making in housing, energy efficiency from the outside. Um, I'm only going to read out the, 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 the lead author. And that's Jahavid, Jahavid uh, as ever before, um, uh, and they are very highly commended for that, that section. Well done, well done, well done, Jahavid and colleagues. Um, for the uh, second uh, uh, highly commended award that we're offering here today, it's Building Performance and Retrofit. Highly commended goes to paper 434, and that's to Low but Low Lob and Ahmed, and that's towards energy uh, efficiency retrofitting of social housing in the UK. Over to you, Daryl, for the uh, next paper, please. OK. The next paper, uh, Building Performance and Retrofit winner category, which was paper 409, uh, pre-retrofit building performance evaluation of existing UK social housing dwellings, which was Professor Rajap Gupta, Chloe Berry and Matt Gregg. Well done. Well done, well done. Um, a highly commended paper for the building resilience goes to paper number 408, and that's Tiago Ferrier and colleagues, and that's analysing seismic 
vulnerability, damage scenarios and inaccessible areas in the old city centre of Coimbra, Portugal. Uh, and uh, the uh, another highly commended paper is the energy behaviour and behaviour change, and that goes to Famir at Jan de Chirat, uh, and that's using innovation as a tool to enhance sustainable project outcomes. We have another highly commended paper, and this is for the energy efficiency modelling. And that goes to Liam Pollitt and colleagues, uh, and that's for paper number 418, assessing energy, uh, assessing energy performance of high bank systems within a railway infrastructure environment. Further highly commended paper, and this is for renewable energy technologies. This goes to uh, Ivan, Ivan McAvoy, and that's for paper number 354, social housing construction in Ireland, achieving nearly zero energy buildings, standards through passive house methodologies and renewable energy systems. Over to you, Darren, the next paper. Have a breather. You had a few there. <laughs> um, the next category is energy behaviour and behaviour change. And this is a winner category for paper 332, the health and safety audit report as an essential document, a case study investigating audit reports in terms of their value in knowledge management and the implications for and the impacts on delivering behavioural change in construction organisation. And that is Aoife O'Riordan and team. Well done, everybody. Oh, well done. Um, a highly commended paper for the sustainability, ethics and responsibility goes to o OV Mon Mon Mono Otto, and that's for paper number 348, an evaluation of the impact of oil exploration on sustainable development objectives for the communities within the Niger Delta region and Nigeria. Over to you, Darren. And the winner in that category, Sustainability, Ethics and Responsibility, was paper 367, Sustainability Literacy Evaluating Instrument for Construction Professionals. And that was Theraki, Hetiorachichi uh, and Bernard Tafor Atueni. Well done. Well done. Uh, in the category of Sustainable Construction, uh, highly commended goes to uh, Kian Hurley and colleagues. And that's for paper number 373, Barriers, Benefits and Future of Insulated Concrete Forms as a Building Method in the Republic of Ireland. Well done, everybody. Yeah, and the winner, uh, Reducing Consumption of Waste winner, uh, paper 326, Exploring Potentials and Barriers of Industry 4 Technologies to Facilitate the Transition to Circular Economy and Construction, a Systematic Literature Review, and I heard this paper earlier on, and it was great. Um, Oliver Pupeni, uh, Abdi Odun, and his colleagues, well done for winning that. Thank you. And in the category of Planning and Sculpturing Positive Change, highly commended goes to Man Disi Gorbavu, and that's for paper number 322, Cyber Community Based facil Facilities Management, a conceptual management uh, framework for improving sustainability in higher education. Um, the following categories are our sponsorship prizes. And um, I don't know if you want to do the first one, Chris, as it's a winner. Um, it, Can do. Yeah, Can if do. you want to do that one, I'll do the final two. That'll be fine. That'll be great. Um, so the sponsorship prize for IEMA, uh, the winner of this category is Peter Good and colleagues, and that's paper number three, 327, our local authorities on the road to net zero or the road to nowhere, a modified Delphi approach to assist smaller local authorities diagnose improvements to net zero governance and decision making. Well done. Brilliant. And the sponsorship prize for the Chartered Institute, Institute of Builders, and um, the winner was paper number 371, the health and safety risks of working during heat waves on construction sites in the Republic of Ireland and the United Kingdom. And that is Rian Grangle and 
team. Well done, all. Do you want me to do the last one, or are you gonna, are you happy to do yeah, that one? No, if you if you want to do the last one, I'll leave that to you. Um, are they both sponsorship prizes from the CIOB, or is one Emerald Publishing and one the CIOB? I don't. I'm just checking that as uh, we've got. They're both CIOB. Okay, well. that's fine. I just wanted to check. Um, our second sponsorship prize for CIOB, the winner was paper 434 towards energy efficient retrofitting of social housing in the UK, um, assessing the occupant behaviour and indoor environmental quality of a council block in London. That was Lobda Ahmed and her team um, from the University of East London. Well done, Lobda. Thank you. Uh, I, I think uh, the you know, the, the, I just want to add that uh, today's presentations online have been excellent. Um, it's the first, first year that we've started with the online uh, presentations. Um, and I think it's a good way to come into this, but some excellent presentations. Uh, and as Daryl mentioned, uh, there's still some chair awards that do cut across both the online and the face to face conference. Um, uh, tomorrow, the face to face conference. Um, there will be some more awards uh, that, that that will be presented uh, during the next few days. Okay, it's been great to be here uh, today, and I really hope that next year you're able to come to Leeds and we can meet up in Leeds. But it's been a brilliant day. I just want to thank everybody for all their time and and some of the most amazing and excellent papers have been delivered. Thank you very much, everyone. I, I think there's a few questions or maybe some. Alison, did you have a question? No. Oh, your hand went up and went down. <laughs> it went <laughs> up and went down. I was meant to do clapping instead, oh. so I just pressed the wrong <laughs> icon. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, thank you, everyone. It's been great. OK, brilliant. Well done, everybody. Um, thank you. Enjoy your evening. And for those of you who will be with us tomorrow, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>